Good morning, oil traders. It is Newsday, August 16th, Wednesday, 9, 12 a.m. here on the East Coast. We're about 16 minutes away from the market open, and it is Newsday. We had API report last, uh, last night or late afternoon at 4.30 p.m., and they reported a larger than expected drop once again. So is it going to be confirmed by EIA report today at 10.30 a.m., one hour after the open? Your guess is as good as mine, but uh, we did go up um, based on the API report, although we didn't really go up by much. We basically um, tried to get back to 48 unsuccessfully, and we've been more or less holding about 10 cents higher above yesterday's closing. Um, with a lot of downward pressure from the bears. Um, we've reached as low as um, almost 47 and a half actually, which is below yesterday's close, even though we had this bullish news from API. So yeah, to me, I read that as bearish, even though we're technically we're up, I see a lot of resistance. So I don't know, maybe it's my bias coming in on this, but it is what it is. <laughs> That's kind of my expectation is that we're gonna go down. Um, that being said, if we do go up, uh, I copied and pasted my notes, if we do go up uh, today, not tomorrow, um, I'll be rebuying my uh, short above 48. Um, this is if, you know, of course, regardless of whether it's before or after the news, but if we manage to do that before the news, then I'll definitely be rebuying the short above 48. If we drop back down, I'll be repurchasing the long at 47 or below. Um, that's the same long that I bought and sold yesterday um, for that small profit. Um, yeah, so basically now it's kind of the waiting game heading into EIA news in, uh, in about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour after, uh, after open here on the East Coast, and it should be exciting. Um, we've been experiencing a lot of downward trend, um, and if that gets confirmed again by EIA, then we could drop significantly today. Uh, I've said that before, and I've been wrong before, so <laughs> take that for what you will. But uh, if we go back up, we... Yeah, I'm not so sure that if we go back up that we're going to go up to new highs. Um, we've fallen so much, uh, six, over 6% 6 at this point, that even going up at this point based on EIA may not allow us to reach as high as the bulls might want or expect. Um, 49, probably, maybe, but not likely 50. Um, that's my feeling. That's my gut um, for whatever that's worth. Um, let me know what you guys think. You can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Until then, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading today at 4.30 p.m. here on the East Coast. Good luck. Cheers.